so it says windows cannot be installed to this disk so what's the reason it says uh, to this a uh, disk because the selected disk is gpt partition style right so this is the problem the disk here is specified as gpt so we have to convert it into ntfs format so this is the problem that windows needs ntfs style partition to get installed but we have gpt format so in this video uh, we will see how to change the gpt format style partition into a ntfs format so first i will request you watch the full video and uh, as it's a little bit complicated so uh, to understand it properly please watch the step by step and you can pause if you don't understand so first make sure your BIOS setup is correct and compare the change so here you, you can see in the when you go to the mo uh, boot mode uh, it's an UEFI mode so from here uh, you have to change the boot mode to legacy you can see it's now in UEFI mode so you have to change it to the legacy mode so then click on that and then change it to legacy then ok then now click on exit and then save it so now insert a bootable USB drive or CD that contains a Windows to install files. So after inserting the USB port you have to restart it. Uh, when restarting your uh, laptop uh, you have to insert the bootable USB device first. So now the Windows is loading. So you can see the windows is started now so it's a, ba a very basic settings you have to choose your uh, language and the time and time and currency format and the keyboard layout style or the keyboard method uh, input method is it a uh, us keyboard or german keyboard you have to choose from here and now click on install the setup is starting it's very easy as uh, as usual so you have to go step by step so now here you, you have to select uh, which architecture you want to install so if you have a good uh, requirement I mean uh, if you have a good configuration if you have uh, enough RAM and hard disk uh, and if your processor is speed is high or latest so you I will suggest select x64 uh, bit and if you have a lower RAM and uh, if uh, like 4 GB RAM and uh, 4 or 5th generation laptop then you can select x86 then you have to accept the license of the Windows So here I am select the custom. So here you can see there are two partition. So you can create multiple disk partition from here. So it says Windows cannot be installed to this disk. So what's the reason? It says uh, to this a uh, disk because the selected disk is GPT partition style, right? So this is the problem. The disk here is specified as gpt so we have to convert it into ntfs format so this is the problem that windows needs ntfs style partition to get installed but we have gpt format so there's the issue and uh, we have to change the partition style from 
GPU to NTFS, but there is uh, no operating system to boot, so we will do it through the command prompt. So it's very easy, you can do with command prompt, just follow the steps. So to open command prompt, press here Shift plus F10 key, then the command prompt window will be open. Now type the disk part, if, uh, all capital, and then press enter, then you can see the number of partitions available on this device. So then you have to see the list, list volume or list disk. So you can see there are two, uh, two disks, disk 0 and disk 1. So we have to select uh, the disk 0, yeah, select is 0, so it's selected now and now uh, we have to clean the disk first that means we have to format it first then it's the disk is formatted completely so now type convert mbr and then press enter so you can see the disk part is successfully converted to the selected disk that, that means the uh, disk 0 that has 931 GB it's now in MBR format so now we will create a new partition here so for this we, you have to type create partition and it should be the primary partition that we will install the operating system and the size uh, would be 60,000 megabyte so you can see the disk part is already created so now type the format fs uh, uh, ntfs level or system and then press enter So system is the system is our drive name. So now you can close the command prompt and click on refresh. Now you can see the system partition is created and we allocated a uh, sixty thousand megabyte. So it reduced to 58.6 GB. So now uh, we can proceed to install the operating system on partition 1 and click next. So now the windows uh, will be loaded on that partition and that's all. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel.